Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Unravel. Today I want to show you how you can quickly tweak your Steam Deck in order to have better performance. And this can be done through a plugin that will help out a lot and you basically don't have to do anything other than installing this plugin. This is called Cryo Utilities and is done by Cryobyte33 and I'll link everything down in the description. But all you have to know is that with a simple installation in the desktop mode, you basically have everything already configured, you don't need to do anything else. Well, you can if you want to, if you know what you are doing, you can tweak it however you want. But by default, this utility comes with a preset already preloaded into the utility. And I'll show you in a minute how the performance differs from using the stock Steam Deck and the one with the Cryo Utilities. As you can see, currently I'm playing Spider-Man, we we'll get around 35-40 FPS. So the game is still playing pretty good, it's pretty solid. I have finished the game on the Steam Deck, so no worries there. So without further ado, let's go to the desktop mode and install Cryo Utilities and see how this goes. Alright, so now we are in the desktop mode and I hope you can see the screen better. I don't have a capture card anymore, so I hope this will be enough for you to see everything that we need to do. First thing first, we need to open a browser and we already have Firefox installed on the Steam Deck, so you don't need to install any other browsers. Either you search for Cryo Utilities Steam Deck, but don't worry, I'll link everything into the description. We have the GitHub link over here. This is made by Cryobyte33 and you'll have everything over here and you can go through each and every step if you want to learn more about this process. And before we continue, I want to let you know that there are some minimal risks in installing this uh, utility, of course, because it's changing something in the settings of the Steam Deck. So do this on your own risk. But to be honest, I don't see any issues with installing this. Into the GitHub, you can see that we have here download this link. So we right click on it, save link as, and then we put it on the desktop and we save it. Now, going back to the desktop, we have it right over here. We double click on it, then we continue. And now the installation of the cryo utilities will be done. And there you go, everything is ready. And as you can see, we now have three new icons. We have the cryo utilities itself, then the uninstall of the cryo utilities, and if you want to update it, then this comes separately. Before we open the cryo utilities, what I do want to point out is that this utility doesn't mess around with the CPU, it doesn't overclock it, it only has to do with the swap of the Steam Deck, so there are just some tweaks that uh, this utility is doing, and a lot of users have claimed that this helped out a lot in performance, so they really recommend this one. For me, it's the first time I'm trying this, so I'm doing this together with you, I don't know exactly what to expect, so we'll learn this together. So let's open up cryo utilities. I will click on yes, and here you have to input your sudo password. By default, this password doesn't come to your Steam Deck, but there is a easy way on how to add this one. So if you go to the application launcher and look for the console with a K and open it up, then you have the terminal over here. So you simply type in P-A-S-S-W-D. I already have the password. I am asked about the current one. And then I'm asked to input the new password. And there you go. Now we have a pseudo password for our Steam Deck. I changed it just to go along with you. Uh, but it's as simple as that. Make sure you remember this password because you may need it in the future. But that's pretty much it with the console. Now we can close it. And we go back to the Cry Utilities. And now we put the password that we just set in the console. And there you go. Now we are inside Cry Utilities. And uh, we have a lot of different options over here. And we do have the home one. As you can see, we also have swap, memory, storage, and VRAM. In this video, I will not go to different changes, different tweaks on how to do different things. Uh, I will only use the recommended settings that comes pre-built in the Cryo Utilities and the Cryo by 33 is the one that they recommend. But they do have a really good video about going through all these different tabs with the swap memory and so on. And they are showing there whatever changes you want to do and what does this impact to your Steam Deck and what kind of other tweaks is doing. 
So I will link that video down below because I think they know the best on how to describe what this utility is doing. Uh, in this video, as I said, I'm just going to the basic installation just to show you how you can use these Sky utilities and how you can use the recommended settings. And this is exactly what we will do. We have here in the home menu two different options. We do have the recommended one and the stock. This means that whenever you want to go back to the stock settings, you can just click on this button over here and that should be it. You can also uninstall the cryo utilities if you want to, and this will also revert back to the default settings of the Steam Deck. So for now, let's try the recommended settings. And depending on the changes and the amount of files that you have on your Steam Deck, this could take quite a while to do. For me, it finished pretty fast. I think it took less than a minute. Uh, but don't worry if this takes more than that because it really depends on what you already have installed on your Steam Deck. And that's pretty much it. Now we can simply go back to the gaming mode and let's see how Spider-Man is now playing on the Steam Deck using the Cryo Utilities settings. And there you go, now we are back into the gaming mode. Let's open up Spider-Man once more and check if there are any differences related to the performance. So as you can see now we are reaching sometimes 50 FPS but um, we still do get 37, 38 or even less than that. So it's not a really big improvement. Keep in mind that Cryo Utilities is just changing the swap so you will not see amazing improvements and it also depends a lot on the game. What I do find it useful it's actually in games where you do have some crashes usually without using uh, Cryo Utilities. So there it helps out uh, a lot. And there are a couple of games which unfortunately I do not own and I cannot test this out. And as you can see now we do get even 60 FPS and uh, before we couldn't reach that. But uh, now it's a pretty stale image so that's probably also a reason. So the idea is that this helps out uh, with games that do have problems in performing on the Steam Deck or even crashes. But I don't have those ones. There are a couple of examples like Horizon Zero Dawn. Without it uh, the game's pretty much crash every 20-30 minutes and uh, with cryo utilities this does help out a bit so um, you would be able to see some improvements uh, right over there. So yeah I don't know if you consider this to be enough if it's really something that you need it's up to you. In general as a whole uh, there are some improvements um, don't expect like double the performance or anything uh, this is just some minor tweaks that you can also do if you know what you are doing uh, into the settings. This is just messing around and doing some specific settings that usually work and uh, most of the users said that these are the tweak spot for them. Is it affecting this in a bad way? No, not for me and not from others that I know of. Is it helping? Well, a bit. Um, it also depends a lot on the game. So make sure that you do this only if you consider that you need a bit more boost for your Steam Deck. And especially if you have games that are underperforming. I've seen users saying online that using career utilities, it does help out a bit and um, the game is not crashing as it should be. So I hope this video helps you out in deciding if you do need to do some tweaks to your Steam Deck or not, or if it's just enough what you have already. If you do want to install the Cry Utilities, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, very easy to do. All you have to do is go into the desktop mode and uh, run the installation script. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any other questions and if you want to see any other tutorials on the Steam Deck or ROG Ally, Please let me know and I'll make sure to feature them here on the video. And I've done recently a video on how to play Fall Guys on the Steam Deck. So make sure to check it out over here. And drop a like and a subscribe if you do consider these videos to be useful. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. This is the Tech Arrival and I'll catch you in the next video.